Hey guys, this is John with Lumatex Minute Expert, and today we're going to talk to you about wire size and voltage drop on your boat, truck, or off-roader, problems that can be difficult to track down. Now to understand any circuit, it's real useful to start with Ohm's Law, V equals IR. Now that just means that volts equals current times resistance in a circuit. And importantly, it means that if resistance goes up, the current's got to go down. Now we can simulate that here in a Lumatex electrical lab. We've got a 12 volt battery. We've got about 25 feet of 10 to electrical cable, a standard bus block, a switch, and a load. For loads, we have some halogen lights. You'll also notice that we have some meters hooked up to the circuit. And that allows us to see what's going on at various points in the circuit when we throw the switch. And when we do, what you'll notice is that the battery voltage drops a little bit, about 11.5 volts. We're seeing 10 volts at the light and 8.4 amps through the circuits. Now that's a little low, this battery is a little bit low, but well within the norm. Now we're going to look at what happens when we simulate an undersized wire or an overloaded circuit. We're going to do that by swapping this out to 18 gauge wire. Now we swapped out the wire here to the 18 gauge and we're going to throw the switch. When we turn on the lights, we notice some interesting things. The voltage at the light has dropped by almost two volts. So where did those volts go? Well, remember Ohm's law, V equals IR. The resistance through the smaller wire is higher, which means the voltage drop through the wire is higher, which means there's less volts to drive the load. That means that your lighting, your pumps, or your winches may not be operating at their full potential. So remember, to get the proper performance out of your accessories, make sure you're using the correct wire gauge. For more information on how to do this, visit lumatechlighting.com front slash minute expert. And you can also look at part two of this video which deals with constant power devices. Thanks for watching.